I think lockdown has affected us all in the past year, whether you live alone, you live with friends, uh, or you live with family, especially for those who don't have access to any outdoor space or potentially live in a flat as well where they don't have access to, to even a garden. You know, I am very fortunate in the fact that I live in my own house, I've got a garden, and more fortunate than all of that, I've got the Peak District on my doorstep. So when Boris kicked in lockdown number three, I was fortunate enough to be able to class the Peak District as local, and I've been making the most of that on weekends after a working week where the cabin fever is real, and just being able to get out there once a weekend, and ideally back-to-back -back days, have that complete switch off from everything that's been going on with work, allow myself the headspace of the peaks and just enjoy the great outdoors. And as I say, I am extremely fortunate to have the Peak District on my doorstep. I know a lot of us aren't as uh, fortunate as that and are having to make do with the local parks or maybe you have a, a reservoir that's quite close by. As I said, fortunately, albeit a drive away, I do have the, the peaks on my doorstep. So I've been taking advantage, getting out there as much as I can. Today's hike and vlog is from Edale. As I say, welcome back to the channel and enjoy. Good morning. What's good? We out here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Sean. It's been some time since I've posted. I've just not really been sure what I've wanted to post it. I've still been, you know, watching a lot of YouTube, in particular Riley, Craig, Ed Fares, all three of them good friends. So go check out the channels if you haven't already. And then more recently, because I've been getting into the peaks on a personal note in the past year, I've been watching some more hiking channels and, and Dean Reed's in particular is amazing. So if you're watching this because of anything to do with the peaks, you need to jump on to him for the Peak District. He absolutely knows everything about this. I'm learning so much just from watching his videos and now it's good to kind of come out here and put, you know, what he's doing into practice. I'm still very much a beginner at what I do. You know, I'm just kind of filming and vlogging to show my my own walks, you know, people who are maybe in a similar stage for just trying to, you know, get into hiking and, and kind of exploring, you know, probably a good base channel for you guys. But if you're looking for people more experienced, go and check out Dean for peak recommendations and go check out Ed Fairs if you want to see some good storytelling. That guy is, is going to go places on YouTube. Um, and yeah, let's see where I can go with this. But today we're out in Edale. I'm going to start the channel off with an Edale hike. I've not actually been out here since um, back in September with my old man. You know, he's pretty much you know an experienced hiker, experienced climber, and uh, he uh, he wanted to do Kinder Scout. So I hadn't done that before. We had a really good day, and I've not been back here since. So decided to come back out. It is in the middle of lockdown, so I'm trying to stay local, and not go too far. It is quiet, which is great. So just going to go for a 10, 12k hike. Just see what views I can get in. I'll try and film some of it vlog what I see on the way yeah and we'll see how the hike goes but uh yeah welcome back to the channel if you're new I'd love it if you could subscribe I think I'm on mid 600s uh subscribers by the time of filming this so I think the goal for this year has got to get up to that thousand I'm gonna get nowhere near to Craig on his 30k but one day mate you never know might have to collab and steal some of those subs eh but uh no only joking yeah let's just see how today goes I'm not too sure what you can see over my shoulder because I can't actually see the screen on this camera um, but last time I was here I just didn't know where I was when I came with my dad when I was around Kinder Scout just looking at all in and getting a little bit confused I will film a video of where I am because Mam Tour's in the background Hollins Cross Back Tour and then Lose Hill I'll do a forward facing video to show you exactly where I am but it's so good for me now because I'm getting a, a little more confident and more familiar with the area so as I'm walking around I'm taking it all in and piecing it all together and that's been the biggest piece of growth for me in the past year is you know, coming out here being a little bit lost and now I'm confident to come out here any time of the year by myself and, and really exploring it and see what I can get up to. I can't lie though, my equipment game when I first started out here wasn't great. I was using 20 quid ASOS jackets and, and whatnot just to get out here, but uh, thanks to people like Trek It, that's a great channel for um, reviewing kit and seeing what, seeing what kit's out there. But I've got to you know, give a huge shout out to Ed Fares took some time he's been in this game since he was 18 over in the arctic gave me some great rab recommendations luckily with work i've won a few little kind of into work competitions and won some vouchers so spent it on cotswold got a few jackets so i'm getting to a level now where i'm comfortable being out here in the rain in the snow just you can't beat it especially in a lockdown get away from that cabin fever but let's see what else is out here you know the drill we out here baby let's go Can't lie as well, you know, this whole we out here thing is 
been a bit of a joke on Instagram where I've just been posting my videos in the peaks and a few people have kind of caught on to it and been enjoying it with the updates and you know, Instagram, you don't want to spam five minutes worth of videos, do you? So I think I'm going to enjoy YouTube, just allow me to talk a little bit more, be myself, carry on this whole we out here thing we've got going on and, and explore and try and be, you know, the channel that people go to when they're just starting out their hiking journeys because I've got a long way to go. I'm such an amateur in this game. one time just to kind of show me the ropes as well but so yeah welcome back to the channel it feels great to be recording again i can't wait to stitch this together and get this first video up so yeah enjoy the rest of the video the new force let's go okay i've got a little bit higher and i feel like it could be less windy so mam tour Hollands cross back tour onto lose hill so that's your great ridge from edel side i normally see it from over the top in castleton and just in the distance in that valley you can see the top of wind hill Bamford Edge and Lady Bower. So I know I'm doing little bit part videos here. I keep remembering different bits, but it's my first video back in a year, so allow it. Um, I am using for my hikes all trails. I know there's View Ranger, Ordnance Survey, and you know other options, but for the time being, I'm using all trails. I think it's a fantastic app. Shows where you're going, shows reviews. I've used it for the past year. It's been fantastic. So if you are looking for an app to kind of get maybe hiking ideas, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend all trails. But there are others out there. myself a little bit out of the wind here I'm about a third of the way in of the hike it's starting to get a little bit more bleak low December vibes here a bit more boggy underfoot a little bit feeling like you're more in the moors the cloud covers sort of racing next to me and over me um, hopefully you can still hear me because it is quite windy but uh, yeah just taking a quick breather and then we go again the rab's getting a crazy hour for its first hike getting a fully tested hike number one but uh, yeah it's doing good so far it's a good shout out ridge there and heading up north now uh, up towards mad woman stones that was cool walking parallel to the great ridge again the visibility wasn't great and it was so windy that i couldn't really take in the views too much and um, it was boggy underfoot as well quite marshy it still is a little bit but the wind seems to have died down now that i'm heading north and then as as you get to mad woman stones which is up there what you do kind of go west head back towards edel and that'll be that so i'm just about halfway now once i get to mad woman stones i've just as i've cornered the great ridge as well noticed got Crook Hill over my shoulder, which is unknown, but it's, it's like a mini old Crook Castles. Okay, the place where it's Bradley, which is just by Lady Bower Reservoir, so really nice. The wind hill is and Lady Bower is one of the two. I can't quite see Bamford Edge from here. About halfway to Mad Woman Stones, it's dipped down into this little valley with a little stream next to me, so it's taken me completely out of the wind, so it's a good place to kind of catch up, maybe have a quick water break, get something to eat, and then head back off. But yeah, that was 
quite a windy first half of the walk, boggy in places. I'd love to come back here in summer on that Druid Stone overlooking the Great Ridge. I just like seeing it from a different angle, having only known it from sort of Castleton Way and then even being able to see Crook Hill, Lady Bower. Um, I think you can probably see Bamford Edge. I couldn't see it at the minute. Um, can't get the drone out either, just purely because it's too windy. I've tried it in these conditions. It just, the GPS goes, I've got the spark. I am looking to upgrade that at some point, but um, hopefully when I do, I'll be able to get it out in these windier conditions. But, but right now it's just not good at, at altitude, to be honest. So um, that'll come. But yeah, I'm gonna grab a quick snack and then get back on the move. I don't wanna sit down for too much longer, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this wrap, this Alpine jacket will keep the heat in that I've got. That's the point of it. Super lightweight again. It's already been a great purchase. So Ed, thanks again, lad. stones you won't find too much of the history on my channel that's more of Dean he'll know the exact amount of erosion that these stones have had for the 100 200 4,000 years for me I'm just going off what I see on all trails I'm not too sure why it's called mad woman stones I've had a quick google and it's said to have long to be nearby so I don't know if there's some old history there some old witch's tale or something like that I quite like that they have some fancy names rather than just a rock or a stone Stone, Mad Stones. You can see Kinder in the background, but we're going to get windy now. been able to talk too much on the video since I think I last checked in at Mad Woman Stones. It just got so windy. I, I tried to film a few bits, I look back on it, just can't hear what I'm saying. So I'm actually back down now. So as you carry on going past Mad Woman Stones, you can carry on going straight or over to Akin Scout. I said I wasn't doing that today. So I turned left and kind of came down the face of Never Tour. Not too much of a scramble, but it was windy, quite steep. And now I'm back down to virtually at where you begin the hike near Edel. So I'll film again when I get to the junction where I, I veered off and that'll really complete the loop. But um, yeah, it's been enjoyable, sort of three hours, 10K in the books. Nice way to start a Saturday. So uh, yeah, if you want to give it a go, I will link the trail down below as well. Then, yeah, see how you get on. So yeah, that's me done with my shoulders kind of where I went up on that verge up there where those guys are heading down there so yeah nice little loop I say I will post it you can see what um where it goes and if it's for you so I'll wrap up fully when I'm back in the car but hopefully this has made sense I've been out of the game a year so I've been trying to film random bits I'm kind of thinking how I'll piece it together but hopefully it's made sense and uh yeah I'll uh I'll wrap this fully up when I get back to the car but essentially I came in filmed sort of the intro and that for this video here walked up that path that takes you through the forest up over the top and then around towards Druid Stone Mad Woman Stone back over there the back that obviously you can't see and then bring it back down here through never tour back through the forest and back along this path to where i've just got to so back in the car and that really completes my first video back on youtube uh, hope you've enjoyed it i hope it makes sense i need to go back and go through all the footage and see how i can piece it together and um, do leave me some feedback in the comments below and i'm i'm shouting out to you ed shout out to you craig and you riley so i should at least get three or four views on the, on this video but yeah let me know your thoughts guys uh, as i say i've been out of the game probably over a year and the reason being like i said to you craig when we had a chat it was you know, i didn't feel like i had a niche at all i was just doing videos for the sake of it you know the, the fitness side of things that's riley you know the, craig yourself you've got the the army and that fitness side great niche ed new to the game 
an absolute niche in terms of storytelling on hikes and adventures and climbing and whatever he's going to do. He is going to be big. So if you aren't following Ed Fares, get on his channel now. Um, and yeah, this is something I am really passionate about. It, you know, it's, it's kind of grown in the last year. And I do want to start documenting some of these hikes, getting out with various people who also do similar, but at the same time, bring along my friends and, and filming those and, you know, getting out to maybe wild camping and rope climbing and, and various other bits. Me and you, Ed, we've spoke about what we want to do. We've got some trips planned and, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So do let me know your thoughts on how this video has come out. And, uh, yeah, if you're new to this channel, yeah, please uh, subscribe as well. Uh, so there'll be plenty more of these on the way. Uh, let's go, baby. You know the drill. We out here. See you later.